Hello everybody, Paul with you today. Did you miss me? <laughs> today we're going to be doing a workout routine for overweight people and the elderly. I get a lot of questions on the subject, what kind of workout can they do to raise themselves at least to the beginner requirements of the video that I put up, which I can put it in the corner right here. So today I'm going to show a workout routine for the elderly and the overweight, which consists of push-ups, pull-ups, squats, hyperextensions, and sit-ups. There's going to be alternating days. So on one day you do all the strength training, which consists of these five exercises. The second day you do cardio, running or, or walking of that sort. Okay, so we're going to switch between strength, cardio, strength, cardio, strength, cardio. You're going to do that six days a week, seven day. If it falls on a Sunday, you're taking Sunday off. So six days a week are on and off cardio and strength training days. Let's begin. The first exercise is push-ups. Um, this is what you're going to begin with. Push-ups off your knees and here's what they consist of. You go down for one second, you hold yourself in the bottom position for one second, and then you come up for one second. And you do not hold yourself in the top position, you go directly down again. And your goal is to do maximum possible, and you're trying to reach 30. That's your main goal. So down, one second, one second hold, 1,001. 1,001, 1,001, 1,001, 1,001, 1,001, 1,001. All right, so your goal is to do 30 of these. If you cannot do 30 of these, you practice only on these push-ups off your knees. You do not go to any other variation of push-ups until you're able to do 30 of these. You do two sets of these, all right? Remember that, two sets of maximum. Our goal is 30. If you can do 30 of these, what we're gonna do is we're gonna move on to a harder variation, which is normal push-ups. And they are the regular kind, you're also maintaining the same second uh, rule. So one second down, 1,001, 1,001, 1,001, 1,001, 1,001, 1,001, 1,001, 1,001, 1,001, 1,001, 1,001, 1,001. You're going all the way down, uh, your chest just one inch off the floor, and um, arms going at least 90 degrees bent and coming up and no resting in the top position. You're also aiming for 30. So practice these every day, starting with the ones off your knees for two sets. And if you can do 30 of the ones on your knees, you do them regular, also two sets. And also our aim is 30. If you can do 30, stick to that number and do that every other day. That's the first exercise. The second exercise I'm gonna show you is abs. Do this exercise directly after you did your push-up sets. Let's move on. Your knees should be bent 90 degrees. And what we're gonna do is laying down. Every single time we come down, our shoulders have to touch the floor or whatever we're laying on. And when we come up, we touch our heels. The same one second rule applies here. One second up, one second hold, one second down. So we do sit-ups now. We're going for 30. One, 1,001, hold. 1,001, release. 1,001, come up. 1,001, hold. 1,001, release. One second up. One second hold. One second release. One second up. One second hold. One second release. And we do 30 of these. When you are capable, also for two sets, when you are capable of doing 30, here's the second variation we move on to. You can do this holding on to anything that's stiff and uh, stuck in one place. So if you got a file cabinet that's pretty heavy, you can hold on to that or to a table, uh, table leg or something like that. So we're laying on the, on the ground. Again, we raise our legs up directly up, not like this, not like that, directly upwards around a 90 degree bend also in our legs. And we pick up our butt. So this is the second variation after you're able to do 30 sit-ups. Also, one second up. One second hold, one second down. One second up, one second hold, one second down. One second up, one second hold, one second down. This isolates your abs and it's one of the best exercises for abs. This is the second one you move on to after you're able to do the sit-ups, all right? Also for two sets. And also the rules of one second and 30 repetitions stay. 
Now we move on to the third exercise. The third exercise is squats. We do it directly after we're done with our sit-ups. And for squats, for you guys not to injure your knees, because a lot of elderly people already have messed up knees, and uh, if you're overweight, you might have problems. This is, this is not the way to do squats, all right? I'll show you. This is not the way to do them. I see a lot of people doing them like this. This is really bad for your knees. We're supposed to keep our ankles and knees in line, and our knees should, be, should not be going forward at all, as least as possible. So when I'm doing a squat, my butt is going backwards, my body is bending forwards, but my knee is almost always in the same spot. This is the right way to do them, and it takes a lot of pressure off your knees. We're going for 30 of these. If you're not able to do them, you use something to help you out. So either a chair or table, something you have near you, you hold on to it and have it help you as you come up. And the same thing here, 30 repetitions with helping. If you're done and you can do it without the use of help, do it without the use of help. Also one second down, one, one second hold, one second up. One second down, one second hold, one second up. The rule we're going for here is a 90 degree bend right here where our thigh goes and uh, our shin bone. So 90 degree bend is what we're going for and we're training up to 30 of these with help and if we can get past that we're doing 30, two sets of 30 without help. That's exercise three. Exercise four is the pull-ups. A lot of people like strength for this exercise so I don't know what point you're at. So make sure you lay something soft down there, uh, maybe, maybe a pillow or a blanket so that in case you do fall, slip up, you're not falling to the ground. This exercise, you can probably do this uh, using a table as well. Uh, put your legs and body under the table and use the table's edge as something to hold on to if you're doing this at home. But it's best if you find a bar, bar, bar like this one where you can practice this exercise. And here, it's a, same, a simple pull-ups exercise which does not require you to pull up your whole body weight but only a portion of it because the rest goes to, to your uh, legs. And you can use your legs to help you and push you up depending on the strength you have. And here, we're doing the same thing. Pulling up, one second, one second hold, one second release. One second pull, one second hold, one second release. One second pull, one second hold, one second release. And you're going for to the chin to reach the bar, or you can do it to your chest, which is slightly easier for most people. So I'm gonna go to my chest instead of my chin and release. One second, hold, release. It's slightly easier than going to your chin. So try both out and uh, adjust according to your strength level. And we're trying to do 30 of these, also two sets, all right? And now we move on to our last exercise, which is hyperextensions, and it's for our lower back. A lot of people who are elderly struggle with lower back problems and they start having uh, spinal, spinal curvature starts to develop. So in order to avoid that, this is a great exercise. Okay, so let's see how it's done. All right guys, these are two funny looking exercises. I'm gonna show you the easier variation, the more difficult variation. If you develop enough strength to do the easy one, you can move on to the more difficult one. And if you're afraid of doing these in public, <laughs> feel free to do them at home early in the morning or before you go to sleep where nobody's gonna laugh at you. They work out the lower back as well as the butt muscles. So the first exercise, you basically, you stand on your knees and you bring up one of your legs to a straight position so that it's straight with your whole body. So you go one second up, one second hold, one second down. One second up, one second hold, one second down. And you do 30 of these for, for each leg. So then you switch, one second hold, one second down. One second, uh, pick up, hold, down. One second, hold, down. And 30 for each leg. If you can do 30 of these for each leg, Here's a different variation that's, uh, I'd say, more difficult. It's not too, too much of a difference, but you'll feel it for sure. So if you can do 30 of these for two sets, move on to this variation instead, also for two sets, also 30 repetitions. 
You can do this on a chair or anything that's stable. I'm doing it on a little uh, bench. So you hold on the bench with your hands so you don't fall. You lay down on your stomach and you're doing the same thing except now you're making your whole body straight instead of just one leg. So I'm holding on, I'm raising my legs, one second hold, one second down. One second raise, one second hold, one second down. One second raise, one second hold, one second down. And that's the second exercise. This one targets lower back more than the first one. The first one lower, uh, targets your butt muscles more. This one's more lower back. And these are the top five exercises that you should train if you're elderly, you're trying to stay fit, back in shape. These we do on the strength training days. And to maintain good heart health and good lung uh, capacity and all that stuff, oxygen uptake, we're gonna do cardio on the off days. And for cardio, I want you to do one mile walking and then try your best to jog for one mile. So if you can't jog, do little jogging for a few feet, a few hundred feet, then pause, walk. Jog for a few hundred feet, uh, for a few hundred feet, pause, walk. And then do that for two miles. So first mile, just walk. Second mile, jog. Okay, so that's my recommendation. And if you develop enough, uh, enough strength and enough uh, endurance, I suggest you increase that distance. So jog for two miles straight instead of walking the first mile. Paul with you today. I hope this helps for all of those of you who are trying to get back in shape and who just watch my videos but don't know where to start. This is a simple routine that you can follow and change according to your strength uh, level. Thanks Paul with you today. Comment below what video you guys want to see next and work as a team, okay? Thumbs up the ones that you wanna see and I'll see the most top rated comment and I'm probably gonna make a video about it. Paul with you today, see you guys later and check these, these two videos out from last times. God bless, bye bye.